Hello all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will see how to make a DIY Wi-Fi jammer using Node MCUESP8266 board. It will act as a deauthor and allow us to penetrate the wireless network. Disclaimer. We need to install some files on this board, so connect this board with a micro USB cable and connect it to the PC. Now here you will need one file, download it and extract it. I will give a link in the description to download the file. After extracting the file, open it. After opening the file you will find two files, one bin file that we need to flash on this board and second one is zip file. Again you need to extract it. After extracting you will see a file for the ESP8266 flasher for Windows. Open it. After opening the ESP8266 flasher, go to config section. Now here you need to configure or flash the bin file that we have downloaded. Now select that bin file and click on advanced options. Now in advanced options, set board rate and go to the operation section. In operation section select the port and click on flash. Flashing process will take up to 5 minutes so be patient. After completing the flashing process, unplug the board from USB and connect it again with micro USB to turn it on. After that, we need to select the Wi-Fi access point to penetrate attack. For that, first we need to connect our ESP8266 Wi-Fi that we have flashed, go Wi-Fi settings on your PC or mobile device and connect it with the Wi-Fi. After that we need to go to the below link, 192.168.4.1. After that, you will see the warning page here, and read this carefully. After that, click on, I understand. Now you have entered the page to penetrate the Wi-Fi, click on scan to scan networks around you. Now I will select my home network, again. I will repeat, don't use it to harm anyone. As you can see the first one is my, is my home network, the same network is connected to my second phone as well. To attack on connect devices to that Wi-Fi, go to station section. And here, click on Start button. You will get disconnected to Wi-Fi networks on the ESP8266 board while the scanning process. Again, we need to connect the same Wi-Fi network, that is Pound. Now go back to that website, reload it one time. Now here you will see a connected device to a targeted device. Now select the client to attack and click on the attack section. Now here you will see three different modes to attack. You can select any one for an attack. I will select the authentication attack. As you can see now my second phone is disconnected from that network and I am not able to connect again to that network. Your main devices are also disconnected from ESP8266 board. You need to reconnect again. As you can see, after stopping the attack, my secondary phone is able to connect to the same network. Here you will get a clone mode that will clone your targeted Wi-Fi network, it will flood the clone networks. As you can see, it is currently showing so many clone networks that are broadcasting through our mini hacking board. Let me show you how many are broadcasting on my PC. You can also use the random mode to flood the random Wi-Fi ID for cloning, you can even set it manually by putting SSID. This is it for this video, thanks for watching, follow for more amazing content.